All right, guys, I'm rolling. Ready to do this. Take seven, mother truckers. Hello! We're gonna take you to the moon and take you to the stars. Hello, fellow 3D printers. I'm Jay Wall with Print That Thing, here to update y'all on what's happening in the world of 3D printing. Although we can print our drugs, we still can't 3D print our guns at home. On August 7th, 2015, Cody Wilson, the 3D printed gun guy in Austin, Texas, was denied his requested motion for a preliminary injunction against the U.S. State Department filed in May. Two years ago, the State Department told Wilson that he needed to take down his digital files of his 3D printed handgun, the Liberator. <laughs> Wilson claimed this order was infringing on his first, second, and fifth amendment rights. U.S. District Judge Robert Pittman wrote, The court finds neither assertion wholly convincing. While the plaintiff's assertion of public interest and protection of his constitutional rights is well taken, it fails to consider the public's keen interest in restricting the export of defense articles. Which means, no, we can't, you can't give away uh, free, untraceable guns to people on the internet because they're fucking crazy. Not everybody's crazy, just some people. And there are probably a million people already have it, but you can't do it. The new 3D printed supercar is here. Divergent Microfactories claims that they hold the future of green car manufacturing with their little node-based technologies in the model car they call Blade. Equipped with 700 horsepower biofuel engine that can either <laughs> use compressed natural gas or regular old gasoline, Blade goes from zero to 60 in about two seconds and weighs 1,400 pounds in the core that can be put together in a few minutes. The CEO, Kevin Zinger, believes that this will result in a renaissance in car manufacturing. Chinese company, North Branch Everbright, reveals their new sexy, sleek cow food 3D printers. So now kids and adults alike can draw dookie doodles on their tablets and phone devices and then print them out in chocolate for their yummy consumption. The company hopes that someday the printer will be put in museums, bakeries, restaurants, and perhaps even schools to expose children to this growing food printing technology. <laughs> Printer of the week is M-Style183 for his Donald Trump butt plug, poop toupee, <laughs> and tampon disposal. So girls, you can shove your bloody tampons right in Donald Trump's mouth. <laughs> you can get this, this print uh, on his Shapeways page for about 28 bucks and it's pretty funny so go check it out thanks for watching and happy printing